Detroit Edison High's Rakia Jackson will be the first to tell you that she is living the dream. Her smile will also tell you that. On the basketball court, there are those who consider her the greatest Michigan high school player of all time. This Miss Basketball is a multiple time dream teamer and ESPN ranks her the second best wing in the entire nation. She must have been born with a ball in her hands. Not true. Despite her parents' love and talent for the game, at first, Rakia wasn't about it. I thought it was like a boyish sport. Um, I thought it was like dirty. So my mom would be like, you wanna buy some basketball shorts? And I would say, no, that's nasty, that's for boys, and things like that. But once Rakia started playing, she not only embraced it, she fell in love with it. Her commitment is unprecedented. You know, early mornings, late nights, it just, it just takes everything. Um, many sacrifices, don't really get to see your friends and family a lot, but in the end, it's all worth it. Edison coach Monique Brown is more than just a mentor. She's really like a second mother. Oftentimes her toughest critic, most importantly, always available. She's the reason why I'm the player I am today. You know, I can text her at 4 a.m. and gym. And she might say, are you crazy at first? But she will get up and open the gym for me. <laughs> Edison recently won their third straight state championship and Rakia is a Naismith National Player of the Year nominee. One of her proudest moments was being named a McDonald's All-American. It felt great. Um, they definitely surprised me. I didn't know it was going to be as big as it was, but to be, you know, one of the only people from Michigan and the only person from Detroit to receive that is just a blessing in itself. Rakia will play at the next level at top-ranked Mississippi State, but also knows the importance of giving back. The Brown Bag Project is one of the things she is extremely passionate about. I gather my teammates and we go buy brown bags from a store. I take them over to the K through 8th building and have them just draw positive messages, things like smiley faces and just quotes saying, you can do it and you will get through it. And you know, then we bag lunches and you know, we're just gonna pass them out to the homeless people and the less fortunate. So, you know, while they're eating their food, they can just, you know, smile a little. Rakia Jackson, nominee for Female Athlete of the Year.